Hey Pisces, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Hopefully I will not cough during this video because I just did the Taurus video and Lord Jesus, sorry for them. <laughs> it was pretty bad at the end, so if I cough, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get started with your love um, reading here with the, what do they call it? The Romance Angel Oracle cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, first card, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so a lot of you guys are needing some uh, little alone time maybe. Either just you alone or you and your partner. Maybe going off somewhere together, maybe for the weekend. Or you're just needing some time to reconnect. Okay, we have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, I do get the feeling that there's something here that needs to be healed between the two of you. And we have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So yes, I do feel like there's a need to get back to that place where you once were. You know, that good place, that nice warm and fuzzy place. So let me pull a couple of clarifiers for each of these. I hope you guys all checked out the bonus readings. Please check them out if you haven't. And let me know what you think, if you like those better, or if you like these better, or if you want. I don't know. Just give me your feedback. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups here, Clarifying Retreat. So, yeah, Page of Swords. I was going to say, there. I, I feel like there is a need for you to go with your partner and just talk, you know, have a date, have like a date night or hopefully a date weekend if you can, if you can manage that. But I feel like there's a lot of things that you guys need to clear up. You need to kind of clear the air and really get the truth out there and come from a more, a more vulnerable place, you know, a more humble place. Just remember how it was when you guys first got together it's safe for you to love. We have the Nine of Cups reverse. So like I was saying, I feel like there's something here that needs to be healed because there's been um, either both of you or, or just you, Pisces, has been feeling like you're just not getting what you always wish for. You're not getting that emotional satisfaction that you're looking for. We have the Five of Cups here reverse. You're getting over some things bad memories, you know, things that happened in the past, maybe within your relationship or maybe just um, circumstances, you know, of life. Um, but I do feel like someone here is feeling just not really satisfied. Like there's la they're lacking, there there's more, there's more to be had, you know, so I feel like there is a need to really talk things out, hash things out. <clears throat> And get back to a good place. <clears throat> um, so you're needing to flirt and extend your lighthearted energy. Maybe you're th taking things too seriously. Queen of Cups reverse. You're coming up as a Queen of Cups reverse. So I feel like you're kind of... Um, a lot of you could be depressed. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I do see just a lot of sadness overall. You're dealing with a lot of sadness. Uh, Queen of Hearts, Queen of um, Pentacles, upright. So many of you could be dealing with Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And you're needing to, you know, again, get back to seeing eye to eye. Um, I feel like the two of you are focused on different things. It's like you lost sight of each other. Okay, so just keep that in mind. If that resonates with you, we'll move on to the Celtic Cross Love Spread. This is for Pisces, male and females. And it's for October 15th through 31st, 2017. Ace of Cups reverse. So yeah, disappointment. 
not feeling emotionally satisfied. Your cup is not full. Okay, there, there may have been an outpouring of emotions here. Some of you could be dealing with depression. Five of Pentacles reverse. You feel lonely and isolated from others. Um, some of you may just be pushing people away because you don't want people to see you in, in a state of sadness. You don't want to kind of drag anybody down. Or for many of you, it could be that somebody put you out in the cold, making you feel neglected. Um, you could be having some money issues, and this is also making you depressed and sad. Let's see, in your foundation, we have the world. Uh, for many of you, this could be you're sad because you want to start a new chapter in your life. You want to start something big. You know, you have these big dreams, um, but things are not taking place. So you're just not fulfilled. Your relationship could be going sour as well. You know, you, like you could just feel the lack of empathy. Um... There could be, you know, that maybe there's no intimacy. Maybe someone's traveling. Maybe you or your partner is traveling for business, and that's why you feel lonely. In the past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there was an opportunity here, a new start to something um, stable and grounded. What's crowning you is, is the Two of Cups reverse. So, yes, I do feel a lot of you are having some issues right now with your partners. You're just not getting... The love that you once were getting and maybe it's because a lot of you are not seeing eye to eye on the practical matters of life or a next step that you want to take maybe one of you wants to move the other one doesn't one of you wants to travel the other one doesn't in the near future we have the strength card reverse some of you could be dealing with a leo The strength card reverse is uh, about not being self-confident, just being feeling weak, seeing your weaknesses, not having courage. For a lot of you, this is just a combination of a lot of things. I don't, I don't get the sense that that this is um, strictly relationship problems. I think this is like relationship problems stemming from overall circumstances in life that are contributing to the relationship problems. How you see yourself is the Nine of Cups. So that's, that's really interesting. Okay. We'll have to clarify that. This could also be that you feel that maybe you're being selfish in some way. Maybe you're only thinking about yourself. Maybe you're being hard on yourself. That's what it could be. Four of Swords Reverse is how your partner is seeing you. So they feel like you're ready to take action. You've thought about things for a while and you've been kind of just in that state of thinking about what, what's your next move going to be. And I feel like now they, they think you know what it is that you want. Hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like you're just fearing... Um, not being confident enough or not being brave enough to take action when action is needed. Okay, in, in your overall outcome, we have the Hierophant. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. This person could have a real um, effect 
effect on you, a real, they, they could be a, uh, an authority in your life. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So there is a feeling of instability. Um, we also have death. There's a need for something to end or change, something that's uh, related to your family, your long term. It could be your home, your real estate, like maybe there's a loss of money here, a loss of something. Something is a need for change. Maybe some of, again, I'm getting like some of you want to move. There's a need to move. Okay, we have again earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, and the Four of Wands. I feel like someone, uh, okay, earth sign, whoever embodies this, it's, it doesn't have to be someone of an, an earth sign, but someone who takes on the qualities of the King of Pentacles. So very set in their ways, very, you know, they're very responsible and think things out, you know, very methodical. And at the same time, very stable. You know, so they don't like to move around. They they are very fixed signs and they don't want to move too much. And I feel like you're ready for a total change because whatever it is, your surroundings right now don't make you feel safe and secure and they're not where you want them to be. You know that you could do better. You can be better and you want a total transformation, but somebody doesn't want that. Somebody wants to stay right where they are. Okay? And I feel like you, you're going to have to back down here with the seven of wands reverse and not focus on again the chariot moving someone's moving someone wants to move um yeah okay let's clarify these let's see ace of cups reverse why do we have the ace of cups reverse here in central issue why is this ace of cups reverse a central issue Six of Cups reverse. So definitely things from the past. Memories from the past. Um, this could also be having to do with children. Um, yeah. Some of you are upset about something related to children. Perhaps not being able to have children. Or something your children did made you upset and sad but um, this could also be just someone somebody from your past coming back and, and making you sad opening up old wounds we have the moon so this is fear uncertainty bad memories i feel like you want a new beginning with this ace of cups but it's blocked by the past bad memories fears fear of the unknown even okay for the five of pentacles we have clarifying it the wheel of fortune so you want the situation to end you're, you're feeling lonely and isolated from people and maybe because you're in this state of, of fear and, and, and sadness and people think you just want to be alone when in fact what you want to do is communicate. You have the six of wands here. I'm sorry, eight of wands. So you want this change. You want to be able to talk to bring everyone together again so that you're not feeling isolated. You're not feeling alone. But I do see that you, you guys are definitely craving change. Quick swift change you have here in your foundation the world card there's something you guys want to accomplish that's big it's huge it's like life changing queen of cups that's you pisces it's related to love you want a new beginning you want to some of you want to get married. Some of, some of you want to have children. Four of Swords Reverse. Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting around long enough. You want to take this. You want to take this step. You want this to start already. Okay, in the past year we have the Ace of Pentacles. Clarified by the Chariot Reverse. 
Okay, yeah. So there's opportunities. You were seeking opportunities here in the past that didn't come through. Like you weren't able to act on them, yeah. And we have the Ten of Swords reversed. So it's like you were forced to give up on the idea of something that you really wanted to take off. This has to do with, um, you know, long term. So this could have been um, you were you wanted a new relationship or, yeah, a new relationship or a new um, stage to the relationship. Like you wanted to get engaged or you wanted to take that next step. And it didn't go through. It didn't, nothing ever materialized. So you kind of gave up on it here in the past. Whatever that might be, because it's going to be different for everyone. What's crowning you is the Two of Cups reverse, and we have the Magician reverse. So I feel like somebody was being manipulative in the relationship, and that caused some damage. Yeah, Six of um, Wands reverse. So you kind of, either you, if you were manipulating your partner, it made you kind of lose, lose, like you were taking off that pedestal you were once on, at least temporarily, or right, vice versa. This could have been you with your partner. In the near future, we have the strength reverse. Clarified by the devil reverse. And the three of swords. Just get one more. Four of Cups. Okay, yeah, in the future here, I feel like you're going to detach yourself. <clears throat> detach yourself from some situations that were making you feel uh, really just taking a toll on your self-confidence, on on um, your well-being overall, uh, making you sad and depressed and anxious. And I feel like you're really seeing it now. You're, you're seeing exactly what those situations are, whether it be a person or a situation overall. And you know that you're not satisfied. This is not acceptable to you. And I feel like you're going to be rejecting a lot of things that have been um, just weighing heavy on you. They've, they've been a burden to you. Um, they've done nothing but stress you out and make you upset. And I feel like in the near future here, you're going to release yourself from that. Because you're going to see that it's just not worth it to make yourself weak for whatever the situation is. But how you see yourself is the Nine of Cups. So that's, like I said, that's really interesting. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So maybe financially things are going well for you. And you can find um, happiness in that. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. So many contradictions. Again, I feel like this is you kind of being hard on yourself. This isn't you being happy. You guys are stressed out to the max. I feel like you're putting a lot of effort into finding this happiness that you have in your mind. There's something that you haven't been able to accomplish that you it's like it's within your grasp. It's like you can see it, you can smell it, you can taste it, but you can't quite grab onto it. And it's a source of um, frustration for you. And in turn, it's been an issue for your partner as well. Because, you know, they, they go through whatever we go through. And this has caused weakness. This has caused just to toxicity. You're coming to the realization that this has caused toxicity in your life and heartbreak. Okay, there's a need for a change here. But, you know, not really the, the change that you were craving was more a tangible change, you know, change in home, whatever, whatever that was, a new job, a new relationship, a new something, new baby. It's different for everyone. I see all kinds of things here. But the pursuit of that has um, kind of overshadowed the pursuit for your inner happiness, your tranquility, your peace of mind. And without 
that you can't really accomplish anything as you have seen okay so it's worrying you that you're putting so much effort into finding this happiness and it's not it's just not materializing let me see the four of swords reverse how your partner sees you the knight of cups so they do see you offering love mm, being loving being romantic after maybe a long period where you kind of went cold for a while three of wands reverse I feel like you went cold on them for a while like there wasn't much affection um, and to the point where they they started to wonder like what what's going on here like what's the future looking like you know their future was unsure for a little while because they saw that you were kind of detached emotionally detached even though they know that you have that love to offer okay we have the queen of wands rever reverse here uh clarified but five eh, sorry clarified by the five of pentacles reverse i feel like you're fearing okay seven of wands seven of swords reverse i feel like you're fearing first of all that some things that maybe you weren't too honest about are going to be exposed but more so that you're not going to have what it takes to fix this situation between you and your partner you know that maybe you've allowed circumstances and the outside world to infiltrate your relationship and you're not sure that you can turn back time your overall outcome we have the hierophant and we have the six of pentacles so that's positive i feel like this is uh in your overall outcome so in the future here i feel things are going to go back to normal you're going to find balance things are going to go back to normal let me see a couple more cards here for this at least one more okay the nine of wands justice reverse again we have conflicts everywhere <laughs> I do still feel that you know things are going to get back to normal i feel like you're going to persist you're going to be very persistent in turning the situation around and and it you're going to see progress see here the six of pentacles represents balance reciprocation um, and justice obviously represents balance as well um but it's reversed so i feel like you have what it takes you know you're gonna keep going you're gonna persist but it's like small battles you got to win the small battles first so i feel you know as long as you little by little start getting things back to the way they used to be be kinder to each other um share give of yourself and, and know how to receive eventually the justice card will also be upright okay but that takes a lot more time so I feel like this is saying that there's a lot of work to be done, but you have what it takes to do it. Okay. You just have to be persistent um, in order to make this work. So let's move on here to the, your general reading. Let me know if that resonated for you guys. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go to the general reading. I'm using the after tarot today. Let me just give these one shuffle. All 
right, let's get started. We're going to do nine cards, three for past, three for present, three for future. Okay, we have the King of Wands reverse. Some of you could be dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or this could be you just not wanting to take action. Five of Wands. Um, you could be in like some heated debates with someone, some people around you, maybe co-workers or family, friends. Uh, you could be feeling some competition on the job and you're getting a little heated about it. There's communication, yeah. Eight of Wands reverse. I mean, I'm sorry, Eight of Wands upright. So there is talks about it. You know, maybe in your office people are saying nasty things or <clears throat> there's a lot of um, just a lot of talk, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on with, with people around you, but I don't feel like it's nice. <laughs> okay. There's, um, there, there's kind of like some anger there. Things are being said <clears throat> really impulsively. In the present, we have the Six of Cups reverse. So that could be something from the past. The Emperor. Some of you definitely are dealing with the fire, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Namely, Aries. Someone that you've known for a long, long time. This could be an older person in your life. Your mother, your father, a boss. Someone with some authority that you've known for a long time. We have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like there, there was some sort of conflict with this fire sign from the past, be it a boss. Like I said, I named all those people. It could just somebody in authority. That or who thinks that they have authority. Um, but there's been, yeah, I, I do see conflict here in the past. But I feel like this person, in their own way, they brought order to the situation. And now things, you know, whereas before things were being said impulsively and feelings were being heard or, or just people in general were, were being heard, I feel like now there the brakes were put on. You know, we're going back to a more stable, you know, sort of way of interacting. In the future here, we have the Ten of Cups reverse. So that's a lack of happiness, a lack of emotional fulfillment. It could be problems within a household, within a family. I do see arguments. There's arguments here within a family. Um, it could be about children. We have the Ace of Cups. That's a new beginning. So I feel like, you know, in the future here, everything's going to come to a head. Someone's going to take the lead, take charge and say, hey, we need to slow down and uh, think about how we're approaching this, whatever it might be. Um, because nobody here is happy and so there's an ending and you get over it. There's an ending and then there's a new beginning here with the Ace of Cups. So this, this Emperor is actually turns out to be a really wise person. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. So someone feels stuck. Maybe because they're now moving so slowly. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands reversed. So being confused, um, not wanting to make a decision, take a choice. We have the Fool. New beginning, a leap of faith. Five of Pentacles reverse. The Lovers, judgment reverse. Reverse. 
just a lot of um, just conflicting energies. It's like someone wants to start over, but they don't know how to approach it. They want to come out from out of the cold. You know, you want to get back to a better in a way of interacting. But they're just not seeing how. When all they have to do is just let the past go. Leave the past in the past, and then we have that new beginning. And we're able to start manifesting. So let's clarify. Let's see about this King of Wands reverse. What is the King of Wands reverse doing here? Why is the King of Wands reverse here? For Pisces, October 15th through the 31st, 2017. We have two cards. Ten of Pentacles reverse and Page of Swords. For some of you, this could be you getting bad news of um, losing your job or you're not going to be making as much money. Maybe you got a demotion. It was like some bad news that made you angry about either losing money or um, about your family or a long-term situation. Five of um, Wands we have clarified by the Page of Wands. So again, communications, there's like gossip going on, you know, um, or just people talking. People talking about this situation. We have the lovers. So this could be about a relationship. Um, you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and maybe there's talks about a divorce. Like maybe you're discussing the possibility of divorce or you're discussing issues with money. And this causes conflict, even if you're not with a fire sign. Conflict over issues with money and decisions, talking about decisions that have to be made that impact others around you. Um, yeah. Or deciding to talk about issues that concern other people. Eight of Wands is clarified by the Hierophant Reverse. So someone's communicating in a way or, or communicating that they're, they don't want to be tied down. Either they don't want a commitment or they're communicating in a way that's just out of character. Yeah, like they're not feeling themselves so they're acting out. Somebody's acting out here, or they did in the past. Six of Cups is clarified by the Empress Reverse. Okay, a couple more cards here. And the Two of Pentacles reverse. I feel this here is like a hesitation to put effort, put emotion into things. Whatever that might be. Because of things that you've lived through. So you're kind of dropping the ball on things like you're not wanting to invest too much too much emotion, too much of your heart, too much of your anything. Because things didn't go well in the past. And we have the Emperor here. Knight of Cups is clarifying the Emperor. So again, I do feel this is the Emperor, whoever this is in your life, it could be an Aries. Or it could just be an older person or someone who is very who has authority over you. Or is just very wise is um, giving you messages of love and 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 kind of support, uh, making you see the truth here with the seven of swords reverse, maybe revealing truths, yeah, and the devil reverse. So I 
feel like through the support from somebody here who could be older than you, you're able to see things, um, to see past lies, to see past other people's lies. Maybe people are talking about you, slandering you, whatever the case may be. And, and now you're able to see, you know, who your real friends are, who your enemies are. And because of this person's knowledge and support, and you're able to break free from that. Knight of Pentacles. You have the Hermit Reverse. So things are going slow because you needed this time for reflection. <clears throat> so things were going slow for a while. I feel like you were you isolated yourself from <clears throat> from people. Yeah, okay. And then we have the Four of Swords reverse, which is very similar to the Hermit reverse. So now you're ready to take action, although you're going to be, it's going to be slow start. Sorry, slow start. But you're definitely ready now to come back and come back into the world, engage. Let me see here, this Ten of Cups. What is the Ten of Cups about? Queen of Swords reverse. So someone's not happy because they got caught, cut out. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords and Judgment Reverse. Yeah, there was unhappiness and you had to cut some, you're going to have to cut somebody out because this is in the future. Someone's going to get cut out um, because they're, you realize that you're unhappy and you've been stuck this whole time because you haven't been able to see it. And that will allow you to go to this new beginning, the Ace of Cups. Once you cut out whatever it is that's holding you back, and, and that might just be you with the Eight of Swords, those are just thoughts that we have that hold us back. So maybe you're able to see things clearly, or you, you've been able to see through the lies again. Three of, three of Swords. Four of Cups. Page of Pentacles Reverse. And Death. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a new beginning here. <clears throat> <clears throat> after a major transformation. I mean, there's there's going to be heartbreak because I feel like opportunities are not being extended to you. I feel like um, you're feeling rejected. You feel like no one's interested in anything that you have to offer and you're kind of going through this period where you, you need to nurse your heart back. And, and through this process, there is a, an entire transformation that helps you to get to the Ace of Cups again to, you know, be full, be, your cup's going to be full again, and you're going to be able to offer love and receive love. So let me see this Eight of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Two of Cups Reverse. And the Knight of Wands reverse. So again, I'm getting um, a, a relationship that's not working here with a fire sign. I feel like that's been holding you back. You need like either a new beginning. You need to re-ignite um, that spark with a fire sign person that uh, you're not seeing eye to eye with. So that will take you out of this um, feeling of being stuck. Or maybe they're the person that you need to cut out. But the only one who knows that is you, Pisces. So think about that. That's what I've got for you for this month. Um, from now to the end of the month. So I'll be back here with your November readings. And I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And let me know if you are interested in a private reading. You can email me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Okay, guys. I'll see you soon. Take care.